what the punishing waves look like one year ago, pouring over the pier on Ali'i Drive. The tsunami flooded hotels, causing millions of dollars in damage. At Hulihe'e Palace, water in the basement ruined precious artifacts. A house even ended up in Kealakekua Bay. The tsunami demonstrated the determination and resiliency of our business community. The quick approach and the rapid fire ability for the businesses and the employees to bounce back was nothing short of amazing. It was very important to the Village Improvement District to jump in immediately to help uh, restore all of the public landscaping and public spaces that were damaged, which the district did very quickly along with the help of the County of Hawaii. Residents and visitors gathered for the tribute connecting Hawaii to Japan. Big Island Mayor Billy Kenoi took part in a ceremonial exchange. That sense of family and love and aloha uh, that was present this morning, uh, I'm really glad I came. I'm really glad I'm here. Canoe clubs paddled out, scattering flowers into the water, linking Hawaii to our neighbor in the Pacific. We're back. We're back. Not only us, but also the village. So, being on black here, folks, and basically there's some truth for you from, uh, basically, we'll play it again here real fast. I'll give you some sound over bite on this here. So, Kaluna, uh, Kalao Kona, basically the Isle of Kona, and basically, there was damage, folks, in Hawaii, okay? Basically, I'll pull it back real fast, and this is what we didn't get U.S. media side, so anybody Hawaii native, state side here, whatever, this is what how propaganda works. If there's something wrong, uh, last I checked, Hawaii is still state of the United States. And basically, Big Island Mayor, And I'm not making this up. This isn't PSYOPs, folks. That is our island. That is Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen. That is our tax-paying friends in Hawaii. So, a lot of stuff doesn't come in the state side, I guess. I don't know. That was last year. And this is this year. This was basically put up lately. Today I went over to check on the Hawaii winds thing to see if there was really a tornado. Uh, that might have been BS about a tornado that was high winds, but uh, this isn't this isn't BS here. So basically, there was some damage. So, so today the citizens of Hawaii talking to their friends over in Japan and exchanging gifts because the Big Island had a little action too. But you didn't get it. I had to look around for it. I uh, basically was uh, last year at that time was interested like a lot of people but they clamped it all down. It's a long phone line from all the way over there and they can always jam cell phones so Lines are busy. Yeah, lines are busy my ass. <laughs> so weather's weather. And like I said, when things come by big and fast, we probably get weather down here. And basically, Hawaii's got wind advisories, and I'm pretty sure there's probably some pretty good winds because I got wind. But it, it's normal wind here. I mean, you know, we, we're uh, up here on the plains. We're used to big winds every once in a while. So it's no big deal. Blows the crap away. We don't keep crap around here. We, we let the wind blow it away. So anyway, as we look at the weather temperatures around the world here today, uh, the one thing is I want to talk about and mention is the idea that when people are talking about tornado season and they acted like we were just begun tornado season, well, folks, we're still a long ways away from any normal tornado season in the Midwest, which is famous for it, and it's usually the belt is down in Kansas, Oklahoma, anywhere on the plains. Uh, so everything that happened in Missouri and so forth and so on in Indiana and all the stuff recently and God bless all and hopefully not anything I've lost a real close family friend okay a long time ago when I was a little munchkin tornado so 
uh, the saying that the tornado season has just begun and all this crap like that and shit, you're not fooling anybody on the planes or anybody that's ever lost somebody to a tornado, okay, or lost a lot of money to a tornado or something like that, okay? So this BS about tornado season and so forth and so on, well, I guess the tornado band is way wide out now. But anyway, I was just checking to make sure, but uh, the high winds over in Hawaii, let's go look at the uh, local news thing again. So pay attention to everything because the idea that I don't understand why somebody is a senior citizen unless it's something to do with their Social Security. But if you got your Social Security card, I don't understand why that the seniors can get an ID card at Lanai in April. I mean, what, why do you need a, why do you need an ID card if you're a senior? You're there on the island. What do you you you, you don't swim there. You don't land there on a parachute, and they don't like that activity either. You don't come flying in on a parachute, and you might come in on a cruise ship, but uh, you're going to have your passport. So, uh, anyway, interesting if you read between the lines and pay attention to the news, and then pay attention to that, too. Pop, bam, he said, he said what? <laughs> he said he's got free speech in America, and this is a flippin' private phone call. Basically, we're just, sh uh, ring, 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 everybody pick up their phone, because basically, this, in any video that you put on the internet is a phone call okay if you have satellite service with your internet service that might take other legal ramifications but if you got it coming through the wall off a of wire I know what it is it's a flipping phone call in today's videos folks because basically I've got a couple uploading or loading and they're in processing if you go to my site you uh, matter of fact let me go give you the addresses and maybe that'll force them to put the videos up okay so anyway this is very high activity and basically if they miss it and they, they screw up my videos or something like that and this one goes up uh, there's tons of activity going on at the Sun I show the cross phasing here real fast I'll just that's cross phasing uh, we'll go down here and we'll see some more action and that's why you're getting high winds and stuff when we have a solar storm we have space weather going on okay uh, it creates a lot of weather down here on Earth. We get vacuum, hot air and cold air. If you have quick hot and cold meeting together, folks, you get tornadoes. It's called vacuum. Okay, and then I went to the CMEs and show you what's going on in that. And basically, if you get in color and you ain't in the blue, Earth's yellow right there, and it gets action. Okay, we got CME action, and then basically not as much as those direct ones. It's amazing that it didn't do anything. I'm sure there might have been power outages, just like takes a year that was a year ago that that damage happened over in Hawaii from the Fuka fudge up tsunami and they didn't let us know about it so pay attention in your area and as you say again here this is looks like smells like yep and basically uh, this is not my site but in the future I'd like you to be able to donate here to make sure that books don't burn in libraries and so forth and so on and freedom of speech and all that stuff like that anyway we've got geometric field storm and being all black LLP, you know, Black LLC. Okay, and we'll hook this up for us later on Beano you know, Black. So the idea that the information will keep on spewing out, and basically data, truth, 24/7. So basically, I'm going to go show you the videos and the links for the videos that I got. So make sure that maybe that'll force them to go up. We'll see what happens. So we're basically up. This one's up. So watch this one. Sounds like it's got sound. Check this one out. Let me go check the other one. Now remember folks, no matter what, this one is not to scare you, but this is an important one to watch. It's what we're getting all this weather from. Uh, so basically, it's out there, okay? And this is very, this gets it truth to the bone, what's going on, and what uh, some of the news agencies are making their little jokes about. Uh, Fox shouldn't be telling everybody that everybody's going to get fried to a crisp. I've seen that. Uh, Fox is a, an animal. It's a four-legged critter. It's uh, red fur. Uh, white tail. It eats chickens and robs nests and stuff like that. So if it keeps a, a certain wild game at an.